hey guys one of the student or one of the employee i can say who is working in uh, west bengal electricity board he sent me one question recently sir what is meant by double voltage double frequency test in transformer and why no load current at rated voltage rated frequency and double voltage double rated frequency also almost same no load current why we are getting that okay it is actually very good interview question first of all why at double voltage we have to test the machine already we know that insulation if you observe insulation failure can be instantaneous okay if 100 volts uh, insulation is there okay 100 volts rated insulation is there and if you don't give any factor of safety okay if you get all of a sudden 120 volts dielectric failure will happen and dielectric failure is instantaneous dielectric failure is instantaneous but if you think of electrical conductor for example if this conductor is designed for 10 amperes okay means if you are injecting 15 amperes then what will happen this will burn but it take time it gives some time in the sense at starting current is going to be 10 amperes in the sense for 10 amperes nothing will happen here but if you inject 15 amperes then what will happen i square r losses are going to be more because of that i square r losses will be converted into temperature rise and that particular temperature has to be gradually increased 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 till melting point till it reach melting point you get some time okay you can buy some time from conductor point of view but insulation failure is going to be instantaneous so as per iec standard okay international Electro electrotechnical commission okay international electrotechnical commission as per this it's standard we have to test the insulation for double the voltage for one minute one minute if uh, what do you see if the machine is working everything fine with a factor of safety two i can say okay so such that if 100 volts block is there insulation is there we have to test that by applying 200 volts for one minute okay if that insulation is able to what do you say block that voltage 200 volts 200 percent of voltage for one minute meaning that the test is passed we can say okay but if you supply for example our transformer okay in transformer if supply voltage this is rated voltage is v rated obviously at the secondary side load will not be there okay because this particular test purpose is to test the insulation okay so on this we are going to conduct rated voltage into two double the voltage okay when you double the voltage provided for example if you maintain same frequency if you maintain same frequency then what will happen already we know our magnetization characteristics right pi i characteristics if flux is here okay here no load current will be and we know that this characteristic is going to be like this okay and again already we know that our operating point b max point or pi max point should be non-linear region should be non-linear region and this operating flux will be decided by this operating flux will be decided by voltage divided by frequency v by f ratio okay for example if you increase the voltage by two times if you maintain the same rated frequency operating flux is going to be double okay if operating flux is double okay already we know about what they say magnetic interest okay in magnetic interest okay kind of in magnetic interest flux can go at at one point of time means at uh, depending upon the time okay time of closure of the switch it can double okay now if for example if it is pi max maybe here if it is 2 pi max if it is 2 pi max okay so the moment operating flux is double that by that particular operating flux no load current can be four to five times full load current which we discussed already in magnetic interest but fortunately magnetic interest is a transient uh, analysis a transient condition but this is going to be steady state condition because the moment you supply double the rated voltage at the rated frequency operating flux is going to be double that doubled operating frequency operating flux is going to be steady state continuous because you are in testing okay then my no load current only can become four to five times full load current which will surely burn the windings surely burn the windings in the sense compulsorily operating flux should not be increased okay whatever may be the rated operating flux or rated operating flux density is there b max point or pi max point it should be here only okay now already you got the answer for two things see here in order to maintain the same operating flux if frequency also i'm sorry 
if frequency also is doubled then operating flux is going to be same then kind of four to five times for uh, what they say full load current will not flow same no load current will flow okay so in double voltage double frequency test we are going to conduct the test only for one minute voltage should be doubled to test the insulation frequency need not be doubled from insulation point of view but from magnetic flux point of view or saturation point of view or no load current point of view in order to limit the no load current okay means operating flux should be same meaning that frequency also should be doubled now out of total no load current of transformer which component is going to be more dominating magnetizing component of current or load combo sorry uh, last component of current magnetizing component of current magnetizing component of current is going to be same okay because for this particular uh, rated flux magnetizing component of current or because of hysteresis whatever it may be hysteresis related component of current is going to be same but of course eddy current component is going to be increased but net is going to be almost in the same lines okay so conclusion is very simple <clears throat> why we are conducting double voltage double frequency test to test the insulation but uh, to test the insulation double voltage is sufficient but why we are doubling the frequency also in order to control the no load current almost to the same value and that's why the moment uh, like hysteresis component of current is more eddy current component of current is less eddy current of component because of double voltage test the eddy current component will increase but hysteresis component is going to be same and anyway this is less this is more so net effect you feel that and the same almost same no load current you will get but this is very good uh, important inter important interview question okay